major developments in an ongoing CBS 5 investigation. Some big moves today by the FDA. For the first time, the agency is now acknowledging that what women call breast implant illness is real, that some women with implants can get extremely sick. But the agency also decided not to ban a certain type of breast implant linked to cancer. In a statement announcing new efforts to protect women's health, the FDA says it can't explain why some women suffer from health problems, including immune disorders, extreme fatigue, memory issues, and joint and muscle pain. But the agency acknowledges symptoms may resolve when breast implants are removed. These are before and after pictures. Women who say you can see their health improved when they took their implants out. But in case after case, Women say doctors refuse to acknowledge their implants could be the source of their sickness, which forced them to turn to social media groups for information. I think it's a really good start. Robin Tout is a breast cancer survivor. She says implants for reconstructive surgery made her sick. She now helps run the Facebook group Breast Implant Illness and Healing by Nicole, which has 77,000 members. It gives us validity with the doctors and um, I think that it'll speed up the process for women to get help. The FDA recently held two days of public meetings looking into the safety of breast implants. Women don't go back to their plastic surgeons when they're sick. They go to the, they go to the neurologist, the cardiologist, the dermatologist like I did. The agency now says it will take steps to make more information available, including increasing awareness about the risks of cancer, improving warnings that implants may cause a wide range of symptoms, and educating the medical community about risks and symptoms. Another option? Warning labels, so people know the ingredients in implants, which can include heavy metals like arsenic, lead, cobalt, and mercury. And what may be one of the biggest victories for advocates? An easy-to-understand checklist of risks to be given directly to women. Why is a checklist so important? It's the things that doctors aren't telling the patients that we all wish we were told. Now, in another major development, the FDA is not joining other countries in banning certain textured implants which have been linked to cancer. The FDA says while implants with a textured shell, like you see there, they do have an increased risk of cancer, but they consider that risk too low to actually warrant a ban. Uh, Chris, you've been investigating this for years. You yes. talked to Robin, the breast cancer survivor. She said this was a good start. Yes, they're saying this is a start, and that's because while the FDA now acknowledges that breast implant illness is real, they did not designate it as a condition, so they did not lay out any tests or treatments that doctors can give to women. And I should point out that this was an incredibly carefully worded statement by the FDA. They stopped just short of saying that implants are the cause. What they did was acknowledge that some women with implants get sick and then get better when the implants are taken out. So that's why the advocates are calling this a good start. And of course, all your reports are on our website right now at azfamily.com.